um, when a child wants to hear a story, even the one about the people from the River War Wally, future lovers. Laughing the old grey road under the bloody rocks and the heavy mountain sky that shortly before the storm falls down on the road at the nearest bend. And when they stop at the stone church and in a square high above in their fancy embrace, they're at home everywhere. They have fish for lunch and supper, lie in the parents' bed, swim in the sea for days, and their bodies are tanned and smooth, supple and scaly, dry and old, till finally they'll fall apart like the rocks looming over the road to blood-brown dust and blood blend with the landscape. Only the memory will remain colored, like a card from a nearby summer resort. There is an app for that now. Swipe right for yes to first, second, third, and fourth love, maybe, and tilt to follow the pixelated road west around the mountains and use your Google Map panoramic street view to circle the church twice and find a disembodied cat there, half caught drinking at the blood of Christ, which sits out back in discounted bottles. At the nearby summer resort where the fish is a mass-produced finger of Andy Warhol proportions, the children turn it into sandwiches to feel carb upon carb in a crusted fat shame era. And the flakes fall apart like dust. The O oh, Captain, my Captain bird's eye, a Walt Whitman of ready meals, like a recipe card from a nearby summer resort. Or a story about the interior, about a flat city by quite a different river, about the angular buildings with discolored roof, with broken gates, with eaves deflecting from the walls. Where water trickles down the plaster and window frames, people persistently stand in front of the entrances of shopping centers, offering twigs, white garlic, hawthorn, a doggy dictionary, bits of privacy, and make up what she. Where there are a few cyclists in the streets to interlock hands tremble, long hair in the wind and cars everywhere, cramped, overheated tramps and passenger, passengers with plastic bags who have long since wanted to get off. It's a story about Vauxhall, or the market outside Southfield shopping centre where the garlic taste collides with the ready-made Christmas ice rink, and the etymology of drippings are all corporeal and fat-filled. On the tube system, there are always passengers with plastic bags wanting to get off. So as a stranger, do not touch the sudden wet on the back of your legs on the Bakerloo line. Or look to the left on Northern, where the dog-eared intimacies of shared public space, where the few cyclists on the street wobble like a prayer. Or at least a story about a long night journey, and big grey eyes behind the window, waiting in the hopes of spotting a real horse. It's a story about Vauxhall. The early to remain stark. They make a hole in the belly, pull out the fetus, sew up, clean, plaster, wait and measure it, bring to see, let it be. Except in Ireland, where it's a DIY experience. You can sew it up yourself with the blunt of an unfolded coat hanger. A few hours later, they administer drugs. Check the pressure, the shrinking, the catheter, change the sheets, the pad, bring the child, Take it away again, let it be. Except in parts of America, where bail is set for a catheter in the sheets that unchange pad a single bunk, where the child, if dead on arrival, is your fault. Where the body ends, life begins. And where life begins, the party starts. Where passivity begins, death cannot reach today. And death is just a morning after of sorts. There is no time for dreams or stories. The body is fatigue, plows of blood, of milk, scattered attention, split perception, fork self-consciousness, a tree with three roots and a formless trunk, leafless arms. I still know where I used to be happy. Museums, pavements, squares, underground galleries, steps and touches, reflections of the face, a gesture about the water, side by side in perfect <coughs> harmony, patience, meekness, diligence, freedom and solitude, huge borderline. Memory broken up. Fragments in the air, a glitter, specks of pollen, rain. Now I need only find embracing mighty stream, but it is not for me, nor for you. There is a booth in the Tate Modern where you can sit for five minutes and have your face turned into a Kandinsky. <laughs> then walk into the turbine hall and remember what it was once to be all abstracted colour and paint. 
I still know where I used to be happy, cities and catacombs where the dreamless are without narratives and bodies are touched in public spaces. Being out the back of the South Bank Centre with someone who has a very bad character and is dirty, but only in the urban way you remove with cleanser before bed. So no wonder more men are turning to makeup remover to clarify their pores. Memory broken up, cemetery flowers and A-road memorials, but not for me, nor for you. The only solitude is quiet, the only freedom silence. Enclosed walls, angles, pure white emptiness. To abandon concrete, tangible life. Become oneself again, without extension, without continuance, without future. The building in London, shaped like a walkie-talkie, is frying cars on the road. Angle, pure glass emptiness, and the power of magnifying glasses turned onto our Hondas. Family cars. Practice ends. All rough. Drafts, sketches, projects of dead masks, <coughs> good night messages, fee before the trip, a drink, to rinse the face and grab, grasp the suitcase, or at least the string. Practice ends, like this might be tennis or football, and the death mask of early onset autumnal asthma followed by a drink, beer, then a whiskey, or wanting with honey tones. To tidy up quickly, to prepare the scene for photographers, to wipe the dust. Another dream is just desire from loneliness. Quiet. One more. For a moment, for all eternity, I won't shake this little hand from my face. And a desire for loneliness, the recipe for best masturbation which is left empty with wanting. For a moment, eternity, and the quiet of dust shifted over night thoughts of Damien Lewis. A novel cut out from dark space, a detail one must focus on. An eye with a slanting corner aims at the face of the progenitor, evil to work, father. A mirror image of the impossible, out of shot. A cut-out oval, the detailed focus of an iris, of your two irises looking my way, and I will shout down like a pop song on any evil you might do with those baby blues, and the cliché, which hurts like a stare. In the sound, wailing of an infant troubled by colic, a vertical tone that splits bone marrow, breaks the skull and saturates the cells with toxins of helplessness. Overlaps images, burns the retina, a magnifier under the sun, beams on one's form. We are all troubled by colic sometimes. A painful locket, a box with treasures, feed in dry leaves, warm colophonous, with long sleeves and curled up at the bottom, us. We touch each other with all faded hair. And wish for autumn to fuck summer so well that its post-coital cigarette might last a year. And we will sit this time next year, having been orange and rouged by leaves, not heat. And yet, times, a glory of sorts, hallowed be September 31st, come forever and ever, or never, perhaps. Thank you.